largest position. He holds a grenade in his right hand. At the command, pull pin, he uses the same twisting motion he used in the standing and kneeling position. The instructor also considers distracting influences. This instructor didn't. The place he selected for his instruction is too close to heavily traveled road. The traffic is a distracting influence. Moreover, it makes it difficult for the men to hear. In preparing your instruction, you must select your area carefully to avoid this sort of thing. You must also think of other units working nearby. This instructor didn't. He, too, has fallen down in his planning. Are there any questions? All right, we'll start the smoke. OK, Sergeant, let her go. Gas! Forward! Who's responsible for this smoke? This time, it looks as if the young man is going to be corrected. Here is a group of men being taught the functioning of the M1 rifle. The spot for this instruction has been well chosen. The men are in the shade. The sun is not in their eyes. There are no distracting influences. But let's listen to the instructor for a moment. The same young lieutenant we just saw. And the operating lug merely sliding in the straight section of the recess in the operating rod. The cam surface of this recess then comes in contact with the operating lug and cams it up, rotating the bolt counterclockwise and disengaging the locking lugs on the... This officer is completely unprepared. He is wasting the time of his men. He does not know his subject and he has no plan for teaching it. Therefore, he reads it out of the basic field manual. No group of men will ever learn how an M1 rifle functions by listening to someone read it out of a book. Remember this and follow it. Never read a lesson to your men.